Uh, she was found in a backyard in Bay Ridge, where we live. Bay Ridge, and, uh, Brooklyn. And uh, I took her in as a foster, and then, you know, I never gave her up. <laughs> and here she is today with mm -hmm. you. Franny had a sensitivity to the spine. Back here, like, her, all towards her back, like, gets, every once in a while it starts to get rough, and she growls when you put her there. And Open up. And got it. Ooh, that one clicked. The uh, sensitivity. Going back. on for a while. made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. Okay, so we have Melissa and we have Franny back. Franny, we did a video like probably two years ago, right? Yeah, two years, yeah. Yeah. Now, Melissa is responsible for one of my favorite cat videos and my very first cat video with Neo. <laughs> yeah. Now, Neo um, passed away mm -hmm. like last year, I guess, right? Yeah. At around two years ago, how think, old? Yeah. Uh, or a year and a half ago. He was about almost 18. Yeah. Now that's a video if you like cat videos that we've made <laughs> before. That, that one's one of my favorite and I'll put a link to that so you guys can see it. But Neo was a cat that you had your for years and years and years and uh -huh. one wasn't able to jump one day it was I, lame couldn't even with, walk yeah yeah couldn't even walk at all yeah and we did two visits over nine days and had him jump up on the kitchen counter mm -hmm. so that was yeah. kind of cool yeah. and yeah. also remember he had, his, his hearing got better yes <laughs> that was the weirdest thing but it's worth seeing and then Franny we did a video two years ago and Franny had a sensitivity to the spine can you review that yeah and that's what's showing up again right yeah back here like her all towards her back like gets every once in a while it starts to get rough and she growls when you put her there and, and does she sensitive. also lose uh, so some of the things you can look at with especially cats and but dogs too is if they're not socializing as much or if you touch them or pet them and they wince obviously that's a clue um, but you can see whatever their pattern of normal behavior if it changes then something could be wrong mm -hmm. um, and you've noticed definitely to the touch definitely to the touch yeah. and what is some of her reaction does she swat at you does she growl she, at she you she growls like instantly She'll, and when it gets real bad, like it's getting out, she'll swat at you. Yeah. yeah. And how old is she and what's her origin story with you and her life? She's four. I've had her since she was like two weeks old. I bottled her. And, and she, she was a rescue, right? She was a rescue, yep. So what happened? Tell us that a brief story about that. Uh, she was found in a backyard in Bay Ridge, where we live. Bay Ridge, and, uh, Brooklyn. And uh, I took her in as a foster and then, you know, I never gave her up. <laughs> and here she is today with mm -hmm. you. Um, hey, Franny, I don't know if you remember me. Do you remember me at all? There used to be a little puffiness around the tender area. I really think she just needs another week or two. What? <laughs> You're thinking about it. Is it okay if I work with you today? How do you feel about that? Is it okay if I work with Franny today? Yes. All right. And where did you notice the tender spot all the way towards the bottom? It starts coming here, like yeah. when it's it's the worst back here. But I, yeah. I notice as it gets when she starts to growl, it gets yeah. worse and worse as it goes down. Okay, hey Franny, I'm gonna get started. Okay, we're gonna check you, and um, maybe we can put her on the table. If not, I'll I'll work right okay. through your arms. Okay. I'm gonna start up here, Franny. Okay, and just check your cervicals. Here's a little spot here. At your Transverse process of your atlas, the wing of the atlas. I'm going to just tilt your head a little bit. And got it. Take a breath, okay? And come down the neck and shake your neck and go between the shoulder blades. Cats have seven bones in the neck, 13 in the mid back, and then seven lumbars. And as I come down, here, it's, it's really high up here. Right there, that's the first bad spot. So I'm gonna go into here now, support through your belly. Ooh, 
there it goes. There's another one now. You can feel it, huh? Yeah, you could feel these. Can I get this one for you, Franny? This one rotated, so this one, the spinous is posterior and to the right. And we're down at L2. Ooh, sorry, babe. Here's the sacrum. This is the tuber sacralis, these little bumps on the sacrum. Here you can feel one of these bumps. They're supposed to be there. Yeah. And there's one on this side too. Mm -hmm. And that just gives me a landmark. I know where I am now. I'm at the lowest lumbar and then just a little bit more. I hit those bumps and I'm at the sacrum. So I'm going to do sacral base posterior. This one could be the one, okay? Hold on to her for a second. Ooh. Ooh, that one clicked. Could you could you hear that from all the way over yeah. there? Yeah. All right, so I'm now going to do some soft tapping. And this is a percussive instrument. I want to do a little bit more. Have you noticed the uh, sensitivity? It Is comes it going back. on for a while? It comes back. Yeah. Like you've seen her a couple times, right? And then yeah. I took her for a one off to you once too, and it, it, it just tends to just come back. And we don't know her background. We don't know, you know, if she was kicked or beaten before you met her she's only two or dropped. Old, so she was tiny. So not much happened, yeah. But, you know, she was in like a. Uh, it was like a tropical storm situation, so mm -hmm. the best we figure is that her mom grabbed the kid that she could and left her, so mm -hmm. I don't know if she knew she had a, you know, a problem of some sort. She kind of walks bow-legged, too. Yeah, so she might not have the perfect spine. Yeah. Um, all right, let me just... Hey. So let me look at you for a second, okay? So what I did is I worked on your... Lumbars, your sacrum, your atlas, and I started, the first spot I found was T9, uh, and that's where it started to catch on you, okay? So I got in there and I, first I adjusted it manually with my fingertips, and then I, um, then I adjusted with the percussive instrument, which taps 13 times per second, and it gives a little bit of a one millimeter thrust at a time to two millimeters, depending on how much I push in. But I kept that light for you. Okay, so you see what you do. You can get back to me on that, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll see you later, okay? Everybody leave uh, Franny a comment <laughs> and encourage her to feel better. And maybe you can give us a little, um, you know, report back and yeah. let us know how, how she's doing. All right, Definitely. thanks everyone. How long have you noticed the uh, sensitivity? Is it, it comes going back. on for a while? Ooh. Sorry, babe. Ooh, that one clicked. <laughs>